So guys, even though I'm using Windows 10, this will also work for Windows 11. So for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, on the left hand side, you're gonna select this PC. Then you wanna find the drive that has Windows installed on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. You're gonna double click on it. And then click on Windows. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find software distribution. Double click on this folder. Now you wanna delete everything in this folder. So do Control A on your keyboard and then delete. And then click on do this for current items and then continue. Delete everything in this folder. Some folders may remain, just ignore it. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. We can run it in the background as you complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you wanna scroll down and find Windows Update. You wanna double click on it. Make sure you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And then once you do that, now you wanna right click on Windows Update and then click on restart. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on additional troubleshooters. And now you wanna find Windows Update, click on it, and then click on run the troubleshooter. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been completed, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.